Hi there, I'm Alison Spirit Weaver. I don't know whether you've ever felt um, a disconnection to the spirit realms or whether you've ever felt that there's there's a spirit guide out there for you. Have you, you know, ever wondered if there's something more, a, a bigger connection for you out there? Is this something that worries you that you cannot connect fully, that you can't um, develop that connection? Having been a, a medium and a channel for a long time and also a tarot reader since I was 18, I have been working with the energies and with the spirit realms for many years. And I know that one of the biggest challenges that we face um, when we are working with spirit is that feeling of not trusting in what's coming through. That feeling of not truly connecting into what's coming through from them. It's not them not being able to communicate with you. It's you blocking off the communication with them. And this communication can transform your life. It can be absolutely wonderful for you. And if you're like me, you want this. You want to trust in yourself. You want to know that what you get is the truth. You want to know that what you get is valuable to you, is wise wisdom from those who are linked into that universal knowledge, that source knowledge, which we as humans, unfortunately, are disconnected from. Um, so, you know, if you're like me and you've, you've felt that disconnection in your life and you're still feeling it now, then maybe, maybe I can help you a little bit because it's all about trust. It's all about you starting to trust yourself and what you get. So how do you start to trust yourself? I know it's the eternal question, isn't it? That big how. And, you know, how is great. It's a wonderful word which unfortunately gets in the way of an awful lot of movement and um, the journey forward. Now, why would you want to connect yourself is the bigger question. And the why is for the relationship, the energetic connection, the feeling like you belong, the feeling like you are absorbed and have within you the energy of source, that vibrant, unconditional love, safety, freedom, clarity of that source information that spirit can bring you, that your spirit guides can share with you, that the archangels and angels can share with you, that the ascended masters and other masters out there can share with you. And it's about starting at the beginning. Because when we want this relationship, we have to start somewhere. And the first place you have to go to is trusting your intuition. Your intuition is that little voice that says, turn left. It's not a good idea to go straight on, turn left now. And it's the one we often ignore Quite often if we follow our intuition, we can avoid that accident or we can avoid the traffic jam that might be around the next corner. Have you ever noticed that you know who's calling you before the phone rings or when the phone's ringing? That's your intuition talking. Have you ever seen an animal cross your path and wondered, why, in that particular circumstance, did they cross your path and thought, ooh, fox, maybe this is to do with being more like fox. That's your intuition, bringing you messages, bringing you synchronicities, coincidences that make you think, make you wonder, 
make you put things together to change your life in a little bit and to work with the energy of your life in a way that allows you to flow more smoothly. So, just relax for a moment. And we're going to do a little exercise in trust. Because a lot of the time that's what it comes down to. That trust in what you're getting. So ask yourself a question. Any question. It can be anything of your choosing. As long as it has a yes or no answer. Close your eyes and ask the question. Listen. What's the first thing that popped into your head? What's the first answer that popped into your head? Was it yes or was it no? Don't be swayed by the second answer. Stick with the first answer. And the reason I say this is often when we start to be swayed by the second answer, we go into self-doubt. We develop a momentum that allows us to negate what we've just answered for ourselves. And it's something many of us do. So what you have to do is go into that first answer, because that is the one that you need to trust. That is the one that came first, therefore that is the one. That one is what you got. That one is what you trust. So you can try this exercise out in many different ways, many different formats. Um, but just remembering that it's not about what you ask. It's about trusting that first answer that you get. And that's your beginning. That's where you start on this journey of connecting. Is with that self-trust. So if you want to develop your self-trust more, then you can get in touch with me and book in for a free 15-minute consultation so that I can get to know you, you can get to know me, and we can have a chat about your needs and find out what the best path forward is for you. And you can do this by visiting my website and going to the contact me part of the site, which is www.alisonspiritweaver.co.uk. And you'll see that come up in the titles at the end of this video. You can also get in touch by emailing me at alison at alisonspiritweaver.co.uk and we can book an appointment for you there and then and see if this is a path that you want to follow and see how you want to follow it with me. I'm Alison Spiritweaver. I've loved being with you today and I hope you all have a fantastic day.